I'm Karen Dubbs with Flexible Warrior Yoga Health and Wellness. This is my friend Tracy. She is a marathon runner. Um, how many kids do you have? Two. Two kids, yes. a busy mom, and a wine and yoga aficionado. <laughs> yes. It's all about the willpower, chill power, right? So today we're going to do um, a pretty quick, easy post-run restorative stretch. So go ahead and have a seat, and if your hips are really tight, remember that elevating your hips a little bit, maybe on the pillow, a yoga block, if you have it, is very helpful for your hips. Sit up as tall as you can. Rest your hands either down onto your knees or turn your palms to face up. Always like to start with three deep breaths. So take a deep breath in and a long, slow exhale, relaxing your shoulders and any tension that you're holding in your neck and your jaw. And let's do that again. Huge breath in and sit up even taller as you breathe in. And a long, slow exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. And long, slow exhale. So this will take about 10 minutes. Our first stretch, you're just going to take your right shin and put it out in front of your left, and you're already there. Um, and if your hips are really more open, you can always fold your foot, um, your ankle over your knee and your other knee over your other ankle. If your foot sickles in when you do that, you just want to bring your shin out in front because that's a little better for your hips and your ankles. So go ahead and walk your hands out in front of you. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, walk your hands a little bit more forward and just let your head drop down between your arms, getting a nice uh, stretch through your low back and through your hips. And then walk your hands over to the left. And if you can, take your right hand and walk it just a little bit further away. And just remember to keep your head and your neck completely relaxed. And take long, slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. So you're getting that nice stretch through your low back, attaching into your right hip. Take one more breath there. As you exhale, see if you can softly relax a little bit more into that stretch. And then walk your hands slowly back to center and all the way back up to sitting. Now we're going to get into a side quad stretch next. So we're going to shift over to our left side and our forearm's going to come down. You're going to reach around and grab the top of your right foot with your right hand. Now you want your right knee straight down from your right hip so you've got good alignment there. And you want to squeeze your glutes a little bit and press your hips forward so you feel that stretch from the quad all the way up to your hip flexor. So let's just take three breaths there, and remember to always just honor and protect your body. So if it's feeling really tight or not quite right for your body, go ahead and just come out of the stretch. So let's take one more breath there. Easy sideline quad stretch. And then go ahead and bring it up, back to sitting. And so we're just going to take this right foot and cross it across our left ankle now. And for some of you, that might be too much of a stretch, and you might want to have the foot inside of the knee, but the goal is ultimately to work to where the foot's across the knee. So you want to sit up as tall as you can so that you're aligning your posture, and then you're going to grab your left hand on the outside of your right knee and pull your knee over towards your opposite shoulder. Now again, some of you are going to stay right here, and for others, you can actually wrap your elbow around your knee and take your right hand behind your tailbone. As you inhale, sit up really tall, and as you exhale, we're going to twist the spine pressing your hand down into the mat and looking out over your right shoulder. So each time you inhale, you sit up really tall, and each time you exhale, if you want to use the strength of your left arm to pull that knee a little closer to your shoulder. And I love this stretch. It gets lots of um, release through your hip and through your low back. Let's take one more deep breath in and out through your nose. And then go ahead and rotate back to center. So again, some of you might want to stay right here. Otherwise, what I want you to try to do is work your feet back a little bit so that your knees are going to stack as close as possible on top of each other. And Tracy, you're really flexible, <laughs> yeah. even though you do a lot of mileage. So again, sitting up really tall, and you can rest your hands down onto your feet here and just stay right there, or you can add the arms. So what we're going to do is reach the right arm straight up towards the sky, take your left arm and bring it behind your low back, and then see if you can bring your fingertips together to touch. And some of you may be able to interlace your fingers and maybe not, but we're working on shoulder mobility here at the same time as working on our hips. Let's take two more deep breaths in and out through your nose. 
again, if this is not comfortable in your shoulders, you can always release and just relax your hands down onto your feet. Take one more breath. Try to think flexible thoughts here. And then go ahead and release slowly. So we're going to unfold the leg, the right leg, and bring it out to the side into a figure four stretch. So your left uh, foot will be at your right inner thigh. You're going to turn your torso so that your um, sternum is facing your kneecap. You can reach your arms straight up by your ears and really lengthen your fingertips up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, we're going to fold out over your right leg. So you can start by just resting your hands onto your right shin. If you're more flexible, you can go ahead and slide your hands all the way out and grab the bottom of your foot. But again, it's not a competition. As long as you're feeling the stretch, it's perfect and it's exactly right, so don't force it. Just bring awareness to your breath and also awareness on your shoulders. So if you're hiking the right shoulder up or the left shoulder down, just try to bring the shoulders so that they're level. And think of drawing the chest and the heart forward towards the foot. So you're lengthening out the spine as you breathe in and out through your nose and get that nice deep hamstring stretch. Let's do one more breath here. And then go ahead and come all the way back up to sitting. Excellent. All right. So go ahead and recross the legs so that the left shin's out in front of the right. Sit up really tall. Deep breath in and then walking your hands forward. So remember you have the option, if you did it on the other side, to fold the left one on top of the right so you have sort of like a triangle effect this is a double pigeon. But whatever feels better on your hips and your ankles is what you should try to focus on. Let's go ahead and walk the hands over to the right from here and creep your left fingertips a little bit further away so you get that nice stretch through the left hip attaching up into your low back. Breath is smooth and deep in and out through the nose. One more breath. And then walk your hands all the way back to center and all the way back up to sitting. So we're gonna take it to the side for our sideline quad stretch. So you can go ahead and bring your right forearm down, grab the top of your left foot in your left hand, and remember you want that knee straight down from the hip, so instead of up or forward or back, it's a straight line from the kneecap to the hip. So pull the belly in, squeeze the glutes, and press the hip a little forward. And if you take the top of your foot and kick it gently into your hand, you'll feel the stretch intensify a little bit. This is just an easy sideline quad variation. And let's take two more breaths here. Excellent work. Go ahead and come up to sitting. And you're just going to cross that left foot over the right knee. Bring awareness to the sitting bones and to the posture. So sit up as tall as you can. Remember, if this foot doesn't want to cross over, you can always have it on the inside of the knee. And then you can start with taking your right hand across your left knee, your left hand behind your tailbone, sit up really tall, and then use the strength of your right hand to pull your, your left knee towards your right shoulder and look over your left shoulder. If you want to creep that elbow into the knee, you can do that variation as well. Each time you breathe in, you want to sit up a little taller, and each time you exhale, you'll twist a little bit deeper. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, you can go ahead and rotate out of it and either stay just where you are and just work on your posture and your hips or slide into what's called cow face pose. So stacking your knees and leveling out your hips. You can rest your hands down on your feet if you like. Again, sit up really tall and then take your left hand and reach it up to the sky. And then you can bring it out behind your back. Right hand becomes, the, becomes um, behind your low back, and then fingertips reach towards each other. And you might notice, you know, your hips and your shoulders are different on each side. So you might have gotten the grip on the other side, and maybe not on this side, or vice versa. Same thing with the hips. You know, one hip is typically a little bit tighter, a little bit more open than the other. And it is all good. Just acknowledge it, notice it, and work on creating that balance flexibility of both sides. Let's take 
one more breath. Exhale completely. And then go ahead and slowly unravel the arms. And we're going to shift to the side and come into figure four stretch. So the left foot's going to extend out to the side so that the right foot's at the left inner thigh. Turn your torso that your sternum is directly placing uh, towards your left knee. Reach your arms straight up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Arms are right by the ears. And then as you exhale, go ahead and fold forward out over your left thigh. So remember, you can rest your hands onto your shin and just stay right there. You can reach the hand all the way down to the foot if they naturally go there without forcing. You want to bring awareness to the posture and draw a little bit forward with your heart and your collarbone. And as you exhale, you're softly folding forward so that the nose is coming towards the knee. And then again, just awareness in the shoulders. So if the right uh, shoulder is hiking up, the left shoulder is, just bring awareness that the shoulders are level. And let's take one more nice deep breath in and out through the nose. And then go ahead and come all the way back up to sitting. Beautiful. We're going to finish out with a full straddle and then cobbler's pose. So you can come into a straddle. Your hands can come out behind you if you like for some extra back support. And you can also give yourself a little scooch forward to take it just a little bit further into your stretch. If it's comfortable for you, you can bring your hands out in front, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, again, just walking forward to whatever degree feels good for you. Let your head drop down so the chin is gently drawing towards the chest. And as you exhale, just softly release tension from your neck and your shoulders. Have awareness of the feet or rolling in or rolling out. And so you just want to gently draw the pinky toes back so that the feet are not rolling forward. Take one more breath. Exhale completely. Go a little bit deeper if it's comfortable for you. And then walk yourself slowly out of it. You may want to bring your hands underneath your knees to give yourself a little support on the way up. And we're just going to figure with, uh, finish with cobbler's pose or otherwise known as butterfly stretch. You can grab onto the um, ankles and draw the feet a little closer to the groin. The closer the feet are to the groin, the more challenging, more intense the stretch will be. So if it's already too much, you can send your feet a little further away. I like the variation where you take your arms underneath your feet and wrap your palms over the tops of your feet, folding your forehead towards your feet. So you can try that variation if you, if you like that one. Otherwise, just grab onto the ankles and gently press the elbows into the knees. So either way, it's all good. As long as it's feeling good in your body and you're opening up tight areas, it's exactly perfect. Let's take two more breaths here. And then go ahead and slowly support yourself up to sitting. Let's just finish off where we started. So cross the legs, sit up really tall, bring your hands together in prayer at your heart center. Take a huge breath in, make a big circle with your arms. You can look up and watch your palms touch. And then exhale, bring your hands back to heart center. Excellent work, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. You can find out more at FlexibleWarrior.com. I run online programs with yoga and superfoods for post-run flexibility and recovery. Have an awesome day. Namaste.